In this September 1, 2015, file photo, James O'Keefe, president of Project Veritas Action, waits to be introduced during a news conference at the National Press Club in Washington. Project Veritas, a conservative group known for undercover investigations, has been linked to a woman who falsely told the Washington Post that Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore impregnated her as a teenager, the newspaper reported. We don't comment on investigations real or imagined, or imagined stings, conservative activist and Project Veritas leader O'Keefe told the Associated Press Monday, November 27, 2017. Pablo Martinez Montsevay Associated Press The Washington Post on Monday published a report about a woman who falsely claimed Roy Morley assaulted her as a teenager and who appeared to work with Project Veritas, an organization that uses deceptive tactics and secretly recorded conversations in an effort to embarrass its targets. Shortly after the investigation was published, Project Veritas founder James O'Keefe tweeted a video of his conversation with one of the authors of the Post investigation, Aaron C. Davis. The video was heavily edited, a tactic for which Project Veritas has drawn criticism. The Post filmed the entire encounter. Davis and another Post reporter, along with two video reporters, went to the Project Veritas offices in Mamaroneck, New York, on Monday morning to try to determine whether the woman, Jamie T. Phillips, worked there. Post reporters said as she walked into the office. Akif, who appeared minutes later, declined to answer questions. He invited Davis back for an interview shortly after noon. In the version of the video, Akif repeatedly declined to answer questions about the woman and her affiliation with Project Veritas. The organization has previously targeted main media outlets such as CNN, which it accuses of being biased. Upon tweeting the edited version of the video, Akif said, The Washington Post sends a reporter to question me, but take a look. Who's interviewing who? Project Veritas edited version focuses on Davis' choice not to comment on Project Veritas' own project, the release of a recorded conversation with Post staff writer Don Lamoth. Akif tweeted that the conversation exposes the newspaper's hidden agenda and alleged bias against President Donald Trump. Is the Washington Post ambushing me and confronting us because of what we're about to release? Is this a sort of anticipatory behavior ahead of what we're about to do? Akif asked Davis in the video. For several weeks you have had one of your employees, contacting our reporters, under a false name, having multiple interviews, Davis responded. We have been trying to test the veracity. If the folks coming forward, accusing Roy Moore. In a series of interviews with Post reporters over two weeks, Phillips shared a false story about an alleged UAL relationship in 1992 with Moore, the Republican U.S. Senate candidate in Alabama. She said the relationship led to an abortion when she was 15. During the interviews, she repeatedly pressed Post reporters to give their opinions on the weather, her claims could affect Moore's candidacy if she went public. The Post did not publish an article based on her unsubstantiated account. When Post reporters confronted her last Wednesday with inconsistencies in her story, as well as an internet posting that raised doubts about her motivations, she insisted that she was not working with any organization that targets journalists.